a black man in business is is either invisible or schizophrenic. Mm-hmm. Because um, we got to deal with, hey, you know, who's up? Then we got to go home like, what's up, nigga? We're all right. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah, I'm from, I was raised in Diego. Yeah, yeah, I was raised I love Diego. San Diego. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it better than L.A. I'm sorry. I love it better than L.A. It is. It's a the beaches, so different two vibe. different Where animals, the beaches right? Where the beaches hang out. Yes, I like yeah. the beaches Clean, there. white, sand beach. Yeah, the beaches in L.A. got a little urine on it. <laughs> <laughs> I, cannot, I, I remember the first time I went to L.A., um, and you know you're looking for the beaches and me from Jamaica I'm looking for Jamaican oh, beaches in LA I've been dealing with this right? for a long time so I, yeah. I'm in my swimsuit jumping and I'm ready to jump in the water and I'm like hell no <laughs> Damn. I realize why like people be wearing them suits. A, it yeah. is so freezing cold. It's cold. Yep. And I'm looking at everybody on the beach like, why is everybody laying on the beach in clothes? Oh, it's no. It's a beach. But it's some people that'll jump in there. I've seen them. What? <laughs> they call white people. <laughs> <laughs> they don't give a damn. They, they, they would jump in that thing. No, listen. You go to the beach in LA and hang out on the boardwalk, you know, and, you know, or mm-hmm. walk up there. But in San Diego, you can actually go there, get in the water. Water's cold too, but sometimes it's warm. No, because I went in the water in San Diego. It was really, really nice. Yeah, I love it. Depends that on what time of the season. We always go like July, August. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's some murky water down there too, but it's not like no, nah, it was Jamaica really, yeah. and you know all the Antigua, all that. It ain't like that. Out of but, all the places you've visited, what's the most beautiful place you've ever seen? It's got to be between Bora Bora and um, South Africa. What is it about those two places Ooh. that you love? Well, Bora Bora, you can literally see the bottom of the ocean. Really? Yeah. Like we're like a you, glass bottom, like you go in a glass bottom boat and no, just look no, out? No, ain't got to be no glass bottom. If you look over the side, and depending on where you are, how deep, deep it is, uh-huh. and you can see, like, the sandy bottom. Wow, like really? Like sharks. Uh, I had some uh, friends, we went out. We were out there, and these motherfuckers decided they want to go scuba diving. Never took a damn lesson. Lesson. They just put the shit on and went down there, and these sharks was just. And they swam with the sharks. They swam with the feeding the sharks. He's the happiest shark. I ever. would never. I'd be scared. Yeah, yeah. One going. Oh just, no! Trust me. These. Yeah, I was like. Wow. They're friendly sharks. They said the shark is full. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas <laughs> fell for that? You <laughs> okay, were your friends white or black? They were they white. Okay, he the whole, he the one black that's guy why. with them more than like. I said, sure. somebody got to live to tell this. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't gonna believe me. They gonna think I killed Joe. <laughs> man, man, so uh, acting, man. How'd you get into acting? Bro, you, I love your movies, man. Anytime you in there, man, I'd be like, this nigga, he crazy like me. He gotta be crazy. <laughs> This in real life. He ain't acting. You know. I watched one last night and I didn't even know you were gonna be in there. Which one was it? It was um She Hoop with um, oh, with, with, um Nick with, Cannon with Nick. and yeah, Chris Brown yeah. was in there and stuff like that. I was yeah. like, look at him. It's, it, yeah, Nick it, it's couples together. retreat for me, my nigga. Period. Well that's Bora Bora. We filmed that. Yeah. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was, Ooh, that was the good I, I I loved it, bro. Like Oh, uh, we yeah, to be to be a part of that is awesome. Yeah, it gotta be. Yeah, that's like we were out there when Obama was um, elected. Okay. So it was me and, um, God damn it. Um, what's her name? She played my um, ex wife. Oh, uh, yeah, the one that was on Sisters. She don't talk shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, I she know. She directs on exactly. um, BMF right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. For real? She's a producer on it, too. She um, beast mode. She, she gonna be I'm awesome. picturing her face right now. I think like she don't talk so much shit. I'm Did she have old. a twin sister? Yes, she yeah. does. Hell yeah. Um, she Tasha? does. Tasha Tasha. Yeah, Tasha. 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 <laughs> yeah y'all so tripping. So me and Tasha out there. <laughs> it's, okay, is she exactly how she is on Tasha the show? Tasha's crazy like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. She's been crazy. I love those she's personalities. She's never changed. She, she's the same old Tasha. Mm-hmm. She's crazy as fuck. Mm-hmm. I love her. I love that She's been the same. I'll be a texter. So she's doing a great job directing because she was um, teaching acting and she I've seen her whole shit. Keep just going up. I've seen her whole shit. I'm but like I'm rooting for her. I mean she's she's That's awesome. 
crazy. But uh, the thing I can say about it is, you you know, uh, yeah, she she you really good at these parts about acting that husband that just left. You know. <laughs> 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 that just gets out of it, you know. You talked about that the other night. I'm like, oh, that nigga did that for real in the movie. So mm-hmm. let's keep coming back. <laughs> I was practicing. <laughs> Your part actually fits like who you are. So it, did you have to prepare any for these for them roles? Well, the, well it, it is. And it's not. It's I play a more square guy. Sure did. Yeah. So I was playing. I don't play it phase on. Got a little more edge to it. Yeah. Because I'm like. <laughs> Fuck you! Yeah, <laughs> like when she, I don't know, me and the director was like, I was like, he's like, well, what would you do if your wife left? And you know, like, I'll let her go. You a fuck? He's like, no, Faison, we gotta go. We gotta, we gotta, you, you gotta know, act so, like we care. So he's like, she left. I'm like, She's gone, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that was. That's. I gotta get her. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's more of a square guy, like. A, I try not to play him a black, just a, a person. Yeah, but you, and it's it's. I've been that guy, the one or two black guys, or the one black guy in, in in the midst of that whole the mm-hmm. white, the one black guy. He always get. It's just one, maybe mm-hmm. two, maybe two, but that's it. I've been that in corporate America, so when I see it, I can relate, man. Yeah, I mean, because you, they said that a, a black man in business is is. Either invisible or schizophrenic, mm-hmm. because um, we got to deal with. Hi, I'm Hussam, Susan James. Then we got to go home like, "What's up, nigga? We're well, all right." <laughs> <laughs> you got to deal with both sides of the fence. They try to deal with that side. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, but the Robin Harris uh, acting as Robin Harris, I wrote that down to ask you about oh, that. Man. The baby's kids, man. Yeah, how was that, man? It was awesome because um, the voice, right? Yeah, yeah, because they were planning to do a live version. Okay, and then Robin passed. Yeah, I remember that. And then um, Warrington, I talked to Warrington Hudlin, and then he was like, "Man, because uh, I was doing that in my act because I knew Robin." Yeah, mm-hmm. so I would tease Robin. You know, I was like, "You gonna put me on, nigga?" <laughs> <laughs> so everybody knew I. You knew the voice. Yeah, I. They, they knew I did it because I would. I be on stage teasing Robin with it, and um, that's you know that's one way of you know hanging with him on stage because he was a beast on stage. Yeah, yeah. Back then, you used to have to go on stage with Robin Harris, Damon Wayans, Keenan Ivory Wayans, Robert Townsend, Martin Lawrence. Well, that's heavy talent. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Ricky Ricky Williams. Uh, I mean Ricky Harris. Was funny as hell. Uh, that was that was just one night lineup. Yeah, you had to hang with that. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.